All right, today in our reading, we are going to cover 1 Timothy chapter 3, and this is all about church leadership. In fact, if you go to a local church, it's very likely that the elders and the pastors and the leaders in your church know this passage really well, because Paul writes to Timothy to tell him how leadership should work and how he should choose people for leadership. He says in verse 1, this is a trustworthy saying, if someone aspires to be a church leader or an elder, he desires an honorable position. So, a church leader must be a man whose life is above reproach. And so here he starts to list out some of the requirements. He must be faithful to his wife. He must exercise self-control, live wisely, have a good reputation. He must enjoy having guests in his home, and he must be able to teach. Now, I'll let you read the rest of this description. But remember, he's talking about this in the context of a bunch of leaders in Ephesus who were not godly, who were not the right men or women for the job. And so that's why he's telling Timothy who the right ones are, right? He says, verse 6, shouldn't be a new believer. And as we scroll down further to verse 8, he starts talking about deacons. So in the first section, he's talking about elders. In this section, he's talking about deacons. Now, maybe in your church, elders and deacons are the same thing. Uh, but apparently deacons had just maybe a little bit of a different role in the early church. But it's a very similar list. He says a deacon must be well-respected and have integrity. They shouldn't be heavy drinkers. They shouldn't be dishonest with money. And as we scroll further down, I just want to show you how the family fits in. He says in verse 12, a deacon must be faithful to his wife and he must manage his children and household well. So again, as you read this short chapter, I think it's good to think about your own church, the leadership in your own church, and, and see if the men or women of, the, of your church follow along with this and if they qualify according to 1 Timothy 3. And then I think you should also think about yourself. Even if you're not a leader in the church, this is the type of person you should aspire to be. So read this section carefully. Now in verse 14, he sort of summarizes this. He says, I'm writing these things to you now, even though I hope to be with you soon. So that if I am delayed, you will know how people must conduct themselves in the household of God. This is the church of the living God, which is the pillar and foundation of the truth. Remember, the local church is supposed to be the light for the gospel in the world. And so hopefully your church, if you go to a church, your church is that. And the early church was supposed to be the same thing. So again, I'll let you read First Timothy chapter 3. You're ready for it now. And we'll see you tomorrow for chapter 4.